now that I've made several announcements on social media and written a bit of an editorial blog post on this change, uh, a very, I would say, uh, a very large change to the website in terms of its branding, uh, if you will. Uh, it's time to make a video about that and, and what that means and maybe explain it in my own words a little bit more. Uh, now, whatever you think about how interesting the name of the website is, how um, how unique it is, and maybe uh, just the fact that it might have made you more interested in the site to begin with, um, it's a stupid name, but changing the name uh, comes for a couple of reasons. But before I get into details, uh, you'll see on the website now there are these details, things that you can now click on, and they will essentially give you a summary of either what I'm about to talk about, or they'll recommend extra details, they'll give you some more listening. It's a way to not clutter the page with so much more information, and to, uh, eventually this will help you get right to the, uh, the grit of a, a review or a, uh, some writing. Now, in this case, any communication that you have with me is not going to change. It's going to still go through the same email. Uh, all of the uh, all of the links for the website, old and new, will still work. They will all forward directly to the old articles, no matter what the domain name is. So, if you if I wrote a review five years ago um, on Grizzly Butts and you click that link anywhere on the internet, it will go to a mirrored URL on mystificationzine.com and it will be the same format it will be the same link essentially so uh, everything is very good can be very smooth in that respect there won't be any dead links there'll be uh, some uh, maybe some cluttered search results you might have to search for grizzly butts along with certain things to get old articles your old links will work. It doesn't need to be updated. You can if you want to. And uh, any links that I have put in reviews to my own writing will still work. They'll still be direct. Um, and so that's pretty easy. Um, the the switchover is the easy part in terms of just functioning and uh, attaching myself to search engine results again. Uh, but the aesthetic of the website will take more time to change. And I have to get some feedback on the choice of colors used and things like that before I can go forward with a new design, a new logo and whatnot. Now, uh, this logo from Misanthropic Art uh, out of Germany, people uh, from the get-go told me it looked like it was a severed hand holding a piece of crap. Well, it was supposed to be a flame. And that always bothered me, that feedback, because it didn't occur to me that was the embarrassing part. But also, um, yeah, I, I just, uh, that symbol and that symbolism was supposed to mean something very specific, and it ended up being a joke for a lot of people, which I get, and I did think it was funny, but in this case, switching over to this uh, new look and new logo is uh, my way of maybe steering things in the aesthetic direction that I wanted and uh, helping me to produce video features that I'm more proud of. They don't have the word butts attached to it. Um, people make a lot of very stupid jokes. A lot of furries come to the website because they think that it's something else. And uh, basically, uh, while I appreciate metal uh, blogs and websites with stupid names, I don't think I want to be one anymore. And that's that's sort of the uh, the... the the initial thought, uh, the way that I want to communicate it to people, but really what it is is that I'd like to do more and in a, a name that will be taken more seriously by people who I want to talk to. And uh, so, um, unfortunately, it just it's just a matter of professionalism, and uh, while many people will see past it, uh, many people expect me to have a jovial or excitable performer's personality, and I don't want to do that and be a fake piece of crap on the internet. So um, the switch to mystification is very much in line with my own tastes, and the way that I designed this logo along... Um, thanks to uh, the, the logo designer who designed uh, the logo for Spirit Coffin Publishing as well um, and uh, made a, a fair contribution to the actual mystification zine um, is um, 
yeah, Jason Roberts, and uh, he he did such a fantastic job with the logo that um, I, I kind of I do want to keep this design and use it, but I'll uh, continuously redesign the site logo until it functions the way that I want. Uh, in in this case. The name is taken from my favorite Manila Road record. Uh, well, my favorite is the Deluge, but I think that a website named the Deluge could, it's just not as interesting as Mystification. Uh, so, and the design was uh, meant to look a bit more like something influenced by a sarcophago or Sacramentum, the way that it interweaves the elements. Uh, uh, well, we got it right once I mentioned Mortem's wings on their logo, and that all came together. Uh, anyhow, beyond the aesthetic of the site changing, I need uh, I need some feedback on whether or not a dark mode for the website is something that people want, or if you continue with the paper white and the the black text. Uh, otherwise, uh, a big part of the website going forward is going to be in-depth interviews, and I don't mean long interviews, I mean cutting right to the chase, getting to the crux of what my questions are about this album and about the band, and uh, reducing the spin involved with that process and just cutting to uh, a quick maximum 10 questions, long in-depth thoughts, move on. Uh, expanding the video medium is important to the mystification, and while I will review six or seven releases per week in a fairly long form format not only will the long form format change i'm going to be reducing the amount of time i spend on written reviews so that i can create video content as well as feature content that's probably the biggest change going forward is that i'm going to reserve some time every week to work on more features and i don't mean short review features i mean long form features such as an exhaustive study for the last I would say three and a half years, I've not been able to get anything done beyond the crust punk uh, feature, the crust punk and death metal feature, uh, because I just haven't had just one day every week I can sit down and work on uh, th that feature, which is pretty important to me. And it, it, it kind of keeps, um, it keeps me engaged with subgenre music. It keeps me engaged with the history and canon of heavy metal. And it puts back into perspective the pretenders and the real thing. And where the influence of music really did come from. And uh, how many people followed. So there's a little bit of a, like a leaders, not followers attitude that goes along with that that feature and that forum. And I'd like more people to participate in it. And that means that I'll create... You know, maybe it'll be five to six uh, albums per week, and that will essentially be a video feature where I'll either talk about an album, or I'll maybe I'll interview uh, a band about their uh, their album from the you know the '90s or something like that, and get a couple of vital questions answered about uh, those records and where they were coming from. So that's pretty important to me going there. But also uh, every week on Friday, I sit down and I. You know, the news uh, bit isn't that important to a lot of people. Not a lot of people spend a lot of time on it except for me. So instead of focusing so much on announcing new releases, I'm going to find a very quick, uh, increasingly fast ways to produce the, uh, the new release uh, mentions, the best of the week, and then collect uh, everything that I've done for that week and kind of tie it up at that point. And I need this to stay on schedule. I don't want to spend every weekend uh, writing and uh, producing things as I have been this year because it burns me out a little bit. And I like to play video games on the weekend and do things. So uh, that's part of the way that I'm going to be changing the site is to be more efficient probably to a point where I think that's going to be my breaking point, uh, as I found back in 2021, where I can do so much, or I can uh, do better things more efficiently, uh, smarter. And so that's, that's basically what mystification is, is doing better things quicker, more efficiently, smarter, but retaining any depth that I have and finding quicker ways to get to that depth. 
and to spend that much time on it, I really do need to get paid once in a while, and people are very kind to me with donations on a regular basis. I very much appreciate that. It's been a constant since I started, and I'm very grateful of people who also purchase the things that I put up for sale as well. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is trying to monetize this site in uh, a way that doesn't involve intrusive advertisements. Um, well, I could make uh, some money with intrusive advertisements. I find that I'd rather create something worth paying for. Um, and that's either, uh, you know, a, like a, a regular payment on the site, which you could do uh, a couple of different ways on and most posts there. Or you could uh, wait until the end of every month where I'll pu publish Mystification Zine. And this is kind of the biggest change and the point that it's called Mystification Zine is that it's going to be a PDF zine to start. And when I say zine, I mean a fanzine. And I mean one that uh, will have exclusive content that is maybe it's not going to be life changingly different than the content on the site, but it will be. I will collect the best of the month. First of all, it will co it will primarily concern itself with the best of the month records. It might include uh, some exclusive interviews, uh, written interviews that are short in in feature, for the maybe some of the top ten, and beyond that, it will focus on. Uh, some things that I just never really get to talk about. People have asked me over the years, you know, like, what's your favorite um, Iron Curtain era thrash metal band from Poland or Russia? And so, I, you know, I could write and talk about that for hours at a time. I like to include that in the end of the month wrap up just to uh, give people a better sense of my taste beyond what's current and new and talk about things like the new way for British heavy metal, the way I see it, or uh, hardcore punk from the 80s is a huge uh, love of mine that I never get to talk about. And uh, uh, just... Uh, strange outliers and subgenre mixtures and bands that crossed over and strange, you know, things like that, that I like to talk about all the time, but rarely get a chance to unless the occasion arrives from a new release. So um, that will increasingly, increasingly be more of a focus. I would like to develop that into a print zine and publish that through my own publishing company. Um, uh, not so much hoping to make a living off of it. I think that would be kind of funny, but um, more so to uh, pay for the site costs, reimburse me for some of the extra time I spend on it, and also create something artistic that I can uh, illustrate myself, uh, create graphics with, and uh, just uh, some sense of physical creation beyond um, writing. So, uh, that's pretty much it. It, it. it might not seem like a drastic change uh, for you as someone who might peruse the site once in a while or every day, but for me, it's a huge change in terms of uh, having uh, asking more questions, and that's the big part. That's the big thing is that uh, rather than taking a wild guess once in a while, rather than uh, supposing the obvious I'd rather ask it and that should be better integrated to the site so that I can provide you with better information and uh, since I've been so information focused in my reviews for so long I think it's been overdue and I think also a new face and persona in front of the site is going to be much more effective so that's it uh, those are my thoughts and uh, uh, there you go